Brazilian steakhouses are popular around the world for their all-you-can-eat meats and rodizio-style dining. If you're a meat lover, a Brazilian steakhouse is a dream. But there's a lot you might not know about the tradition they came from. This is the untold truth of Brazilian steakhouses. The Portuguese word churrasco means barbecue in English and can be used to refer to all kinds of grilled meats. More often, however, churrasco refers to a specific method of Brazilian grilling in which beef is barbecued on a long skewer and served by cutting off individual slices. Brazilian steakhouses use this technique to cook and serve a variety of different meats, from sirloin cap known as picana to a type of pork loin called Lumbo. But for Brazilians, churrasco is much more than just a cooking method. Churrasco, like much regional cuisine, defines a culture and a way of life. Brazilians celebrate their homemade barbecue no matter if they're throwing a party or just relaxing with friends and family. Though you may not be able to travel to Brazil to experience the churrasco way of life, traditional Brazilian steakhouses can give you a taste. Most Brazilian steakhouses serve food using a unique method that lies somewhere between buffet and family-style dining. Rodizio, which translates to rotation, requires diners to pay a fixed price for a variety of all-you-can-eat options. Most steakhouses have a salad bar, but the main course is paraded out of the kitchen on large skewers, which serve as sliced directly onto diners' plates. According to legend, Rodizio dining started when a waiter at a restaurant called Churrascaria Matias in the state of Rio Grande do Sul mistakenly brought a meat skewer to a table that didn't order it. Instead of immediately correcting his mistake, the waiter allowed the diner to try the dish anyway, and so a great tradition was born. Rodizio gained popularity in the mid-20th century when restaurants began feeding truck drivers. Truck driving as a profession became more common along with the rise of more road construction in Brazil. Because of Brazil's many cattle herds, meat was cheap to buy, and because of the simple churrasco tradition, it was also easy to make. Hungry travelers were eager to get their hands on it when they stopped to rest and refuel. Picana is the best and most traditional meat available at a Brazilian steakhouse. No true Brazilian barbecue is complete without it. This particular cut of meat is a necessary ingredient if you're looking for a real Brazilian experience. Similar to a sirloin in flavor and texture, picana is taken from the backside of the cow in the fatty area above the butt. Most U.S. butchers break down this piece of meat into smaller cuts, thus losing the fat cap that gives picana much of its flavor in the process. It's the fat cap that infuses picana with a juicy tenderness unrivaled by other cuts of beef. Surprisingly, despite its extraordinary taste, picana is actually pretty inexpensive. However, it can be hard to find at a grocery store, but your local butcher should have it. As far as how you enjoy this delicious cut of meat, take it from Chef Antonio from Fogo de Chao. One thing also to remember, if you don't want to be yelled by a Brazilian, make sure you eat the fat with the picanha. Though the meat on a Brazilian steakhouse menu might not be familiar to outsiders, locals know these dishes well. From picana to fraldinha, Brazilian meats, especially churrasco style, are some of the best you'll ever have. Some of the most common cuts you'll encounter at a Brazilian steakhouse are picana, filet mignon, chuleta, and fraldinha. Picana is the most traditional cut, taken from the top of a cow's rump and seasoned with salt. It gets skewered into a C-shape when it cooks over open flames. Though filet mignon is a well-known cut of beef, sometimes you'll find it dressed up in bacon or a parmesan crust. Chuleta is whole cuts of ribeye steak that gets skewered and roasted, and fraldinha is a cut of bottom sirloin that's marbled with fat and served in long, flat pieces. If you consider yourself a big carnivore, a Brazilian steakhouse is the place for you. The Brazilian steakhouse experience centers around, well, steak and lots of it. The popular chain, Fogo de Chao, has been called a meat eater's mecca because it offers all the meat you can eat. And in that sense, it's not unique among Brazilian steakhouses. However, when Dottie Griffith reviewed a Brazilian steakhouse back in 1997, she noted, Americans and Texans are used to all-you-can-eat salad bars, but all-you-can-eat grilled steak and other meats was new at the time. Not for the faint of heart, or vegetarians, a typical Brazilian steakhouse will leave you feeling stuffed to the brim. Sure, you can't eat another bite. Until, of course, a server comes by the table with a new skewer of delicious grilled meat. With so many options to choose from, if you leave the restaurant walking upright, you're doing it wrong. Though you might assume that America's huge portion sizes have prepared you for this moment, Brazilian steakhouses take it to a whole new level. Brace yourself, and more importantly, pace yourself. 
Churrasco style grilling was created to show off the pure essence of the meat. Most of the time, churrasco meats are seasoned only with salt before being put on the grill. The skewers are stacked on top of one another with the fattier cuts on top, so the juices drip down and infuse the other meats with flavor. Brazilian barbecue lacks the smoky flavor popular in Texas and the US more broadly because Brazilian gauchos wanted to preserve the basic flavor of their farm-raised beef. Instead of smoking the meat, which alters the taste, they roasted it slowly on skewers until the outer layer was nicely seared and the inside was tender and juicy. Though beef is the most common kind of churrasco meat, Brazilian steakhouses often serve poultry and lamb as well. Unlike beef, these meats usually get a long marinade in a rich sauce before grilled, giving them an extra boost of flavor. Brazilian cowboys, or gauchos, were the first to cook meat Brazilian steakhouse style in the 1800s. The men would spend their days herding cattle and their nights grilling the meat over a fire for their friends and family. They prepared the food the same way it's done now – simply sprinkle on some salt and slow roast over hot coals. Back in the beginning of Churrasco, gauchos dug pits in the ground to build their fires and waited until it was extremely hot before skewering the meat and starting the roasting process. In those days, the men oversaw the meat, from pasture to butcher to spit, while the women gathered the food they had grown in gardens and prepared side dishes. The meal was a family effort and a celebration. The gauchos and their families gathered around the fire together, similar to the way you might gather with family and friends around the table to enjoy the same Brazilian meats. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.